there, this is Miss Yu. Welcome back. Today, we are going to learn pronunciation with the O sound. And we are going to practice speaking. Our lesson will be on page 67 of the student book. Are you ready? Let's get started. Everyone, so can you look at the picture here? Miss Yu has two words. Can you tell me whether they are pronounced the same? Các bạn hãy cho Miss Yu biết hai từ này có được phát âm giống nhau hay không? Yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. No, they aren't. Right? So how do you pronounce the first word? Is home. Oh, home. And how do you pronounce the second word? It's house, L. Very good. So, how's about those two words? Are they pronounced the same? No, they aren't. How do you pronounce the first word? Is snow, O, snow. And the second is now, L, now, right? Are they pronounced the same? No, they aren't. So how do you pronounce the first word? Is cold, O, cold. And how do you pronounce the second word? Is calm, A, ah, calm. Very good. And are they pronounced the same? No, they aren't. How do you pronounce the first word? Is bowl, o, bowl. And the second word is bounce, l, bounce. Do you remember four words that you have just read with the o sound? Now, các bạn có thể cho Miss Yung biết những từ nào chúng ta đã đọc qua có chứa âm o trong đó hay không? Vâng, chúng ta sẽ có những từ home, snow, cold, và bone. Very good. Now everybody say with Miss Yum again. Home, snow, cold, bowl. Very good. Pronunciation. Pronunciations. You guys, you are going to learn the O sounds. Các bạn để ý ký hiệu của từ O sound được viết trong phiên âm là như thế nào nhé. Now you're gonna listen to three words, and you have to focus. On the underlined letter. Okay, so we have three words here: soap, pillow, and fall. Can you tell me what letters are underlined in the word soap? They are O and A. What letters are underlined in the word pillow? They are O and W. And what letters are underlined? In the word fall, letter O, right? Now everybody listen to the pronunciations of those words and tell me how the letters on the light are pronounced. Listen to the words and focus on the underlined letters. Soap. Pillow. Phone. Now everybody, can you listen and repeat? Listen to the words and focus on the underlined letters. Soap. Soap. Pillow. Pillow. Listen. Phone. Phone. Vậy, vậy những chữ cái O A, O W, V O trong một từ thường sẽ được phát âm như thế nào hả các bạn? Đó chính là yeah. O, soap, O, pillow 
and all in full. Now, everyone, let's practice the works with all self. Now, everybody, can you listen and repeat after me soon? O, boat. O, goat. O, flow. O, bow. O, old. O, go. Very good, everyone. Now let's move on to the next activity. Now, everybody, you are going to practice the conversation with Miss Yu. As you can see here, we have the conversation between Toby and Emma. So I will be Toby, you will be Emma, and then we will spread the roles. Are you ready? Let's go. What do we need for the trip? Should we bring potter water so we don't get thirsty? Okay, what else do we need to ring? Sorry, did you think you need to sleep in bed? Very good, let's change your role. Now, you will be Toby and I will be Emma. Are you ready? Let's go. Can you go first? We need to bring a flashlight so we can see at night. No, they have water there. We need to ring sleeping bags so we don't get cold at night. Now, can you see the note here? We have a teen cell phone. Have somewhere to stay. Can calm our parents. Food and toys. Hungry and bored. There's a restaurant. There's lots to do. Trackets, books. Don't get cold. Can read at night. Trackets and books. Now, everybody, let's practice the conversation out with Miss Yung using your own ideas. Và các bạn hãy cùng thực hiện bài hội thoại với Miss Yung bằng cách chúng ta sẽ thay thế những chữ màu xanh bằng với những ý kiến và ý tưởng của riêng mình nhé. Now, everybody, let's get started. What do we need for the trip? Should we bring a cell phone so we can call our parents? Okay, what else do we need to ring? Sorry, did you say jacket? Very good. Speaking. Now let's move on to speaking activity, preparing for an overnight adventure. Now everybody, let's imagine you're preparing for a camping trip to Kekbing National Park. And then look at the list and to five most important items you bring with you and gives the reason why. You have a list here, overnight adventure. Potted water, cell phone, soap and shampoo, tent, food, jacket, sunglasses, sleeping bags, P. 
pillows, plush lights and batteries, toilet paper, comic books, money, toys, candies, and towels. Now, everybody, you can stop video here about three minutes and then write the thing you want to bring with you. And especially, you have to write the reason why you want to bring them with you. Now, are you ready? Let's go! Here are the things that I want to bring with me and the reasons. Firstly, I want to bring jacket because I want to avoid the insects. Number two, I want to bring a sleeping bag so I don't get cold at night. I also want to bring sunglasses to protect my eyes. And I also want to bring some comic books so I can read at night. And finally, I want to bring some money so I can buy presents. What about you? Let's compare the answer with each shorter. Hãy cùng so sánh đáp án với nhau nhé. Các bạn có bao nhiêu thứ mang theo giống với Miss Yung nào? Yes, very good. Now everybody, we are going to practice the conversation out. And you have to remember to ask for confirmation if you don't understand the question. Now, let's go. Now, everybody, let's practice the conversation out with Miss Young about the trip to Namtek Teen National Park. And I will read the pink one, and you will read the orange one. Now, are you ready? Hi, are you going to go on the camping trip to Namtek Teen National Park? I think. We should bring bottled water so we don't get thirsty. Yes, we need them so we don't get cold at night. Should we bring some classes? Do we need to bring a camera? Yes, I did. That's a good idea. Bye. It's time to play games, everyone. So in this game, you are going to order the sentences to make it a meaningful conversation. Đối với trò chơi này, chúng ta sẽ sắp xếp những lời trong một bài hội thoại để trở thành một bài hội thoại có ý nghĩa nhé. Now everybody, are you ready? Let's go! Read and choose the correct answer. Jack, are you going to go on next Monday's camping trip? We have two options. Yes, sure. What do we need for our camping trip? What about camera? So, we choose... Yes, yeah, sure! I think we should bring a flashlight to see at night. What about batteries? Or, yes, yeah, sure! It'll be cold at night. We have to choose... What about batteries? Yes, we need them for our flashlight. And should we bring food? No, we can buy food at a campsite. Or, yes, we should bring them so we can see at night. Of course, we have to say, no, we can buy food at the campsite. Do we need to bring a camera? We have two options. No, we just use our cell phones to take photos. Or, no, we just use our flashlights to see at night. 
It must be the first one, right? Okay, should we bring sleeping bags? Yeah, sure. It'll be cold at night. Or, yes, we need a tent so we can sleep. So, what is the correct answer? Yeah, sure. It'll be cold at night. Great. Anything else? No, that's everything. See you later. Or, no, thank you. It's muffy. No, that's everything. See you later. We always get three stars. Very good, everyone. That's the end of our lesson today. Today, you have learned the pronunciation with the O sound. And we also practice speaking. It's time to say goodbye and goodbye to you next lessons. Thank you.